Are you tired of slow internet speeds, dead zones and wireless connection dropouts within your home? In today's video I am going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the Tender Nova AX5400 Mesh Wi-Fi 6 otherwise known as the MX15 Pro and see if it resolves those issues that I have. You wouldn't believe how far I am away from this mesh node and we are actually getting 155 megabytes download. For those that don't know what a mesh system is, in a traditional home network you have your router from your internet provider giving out Wi-Fi and you are usually limited to where you can put that and generally you have dead zones in areas of your home. In a mesh Wi-Fi system you get a group of routers or Wi-Fi nodes that are placed in different areas within your home to give you full coverage in all areas with each one communicating with each other giving you a seamless wireless network you do not need to connect to each device like you would do if you had wireless extenders as you move your device around your home it will seamlessly connect to the strongest signal in the box you have the three nodes, each of which are exactly the same. The device itself has a premium feel to it. It has a glossy white finish and in my opinion it's a stylish modern design. On the front is a LED indicating when the power is on. On the back you have a power connector three network ports, a mesh button and reset. The key features are, it has the newest dual band Wi-Fi 6 technology, supporting speeds of up to 5378 megabits per second. You have both 5G and 2.4G frequency bands and you can separate them both with their own unique SSID. The device is capable of covering an area of 7300 square feet or 680 80 square meters. It supports up to 200 devices being connected. It has WPA3 encryption so you can be confident that your Wi-Fi doesn't get hacked and it also has an app allowing you to set up, manage and monitor your mesh Wi-Fi. Now before we get to the setup process I'll run some tests on the current Wi-Fi speeds on both my five-year-old laptop, which is running an AC9560 wireless card, and my 2022 iPhone SE. My house was a new build from 2017, and I found a similar layout from the same builder's website. This is so you can hopefully visualize my setup and see if this will work within your home. My main router providing Wi-Fi and internet is in my living room, which is located here. And this is the only device that is providing wireless throughout the home. The provider I am with is Virgin Media and I have a download speed of 362 megabytes and an upload speed of 36 megabytes. Yes, here in the UK we are offered terrible upload speeds. Test number one is to connect to the router in the living room via the cable and confirm my broadband speed. This is to ensure there's not an issue. So we got 362 down and 33 up which is close enough. Test 2 is to remove the network cable and connect to my router wirelessly. I am around a meter away from my router and getting a speed of 352 down and 34 up and getting a speed of 354 down and 36 up on my mobile phone. All good so far. Test 3 I'll go in my kitchen on the ground floor which is around 4 meters away from my router and on the floor plan I am around here. Reading is 268 down and 34 up on the laptop and 102 down and 34 upload on the iPhone. So there is a noticeable drop here on the down download especially with the mobile phone. Test 4 is in my bathroom. It's a known fact that we all spend at least 10 minutes a day on the phone in here. The main bathroom is on the first floor and is located here on the floor plan. On the laptop we are getting 199 down and 35 up but who brings their laptop into the bathroom? On the phone it's only 61 down and 33 up which is a huge drop with only coming up the stairs. Test 5 in my office on the second floor. So looking at the floor plan, my router is here and I am on the second floor here. So with my laptop connected to the wireless downstairs, I am getting 152 down and 36 up, which considering where it's located is not bad. But I pay for twice that speed, so I want it all and more.
On my mobile device, it's 41 down and 20 up, which is terrible. Test 6. I am here in my garden at the edge of my patio, which is around 8 or 9 meters from the router. My download is 1 and my upload is 11, so terrible. My internet crapped out here, so the following morning I tested with the laptop. I got 25 down and 17 up, which is terrible and definitely not workable if I wanted to work from here. Now that we have done with the test, let's get on with the setup. Thankfully, this experience for me was simple and straightforward and I had it all set up within 10 minutes. Simply download the Tender Wi-Fi app on your phone, plug in one of the nodes into your router with the provided cable and turn on. Connect the node using the SSID and password found underneath the device, then go back to the app. Then press the start button on the app and it will find your node. Select the default dynamic IP. Once it detects your node, you will be asked to set a SSID and password, so make sure it's a strong password. You can set it to your current SSID and password. If you are setting up a new password, I would highly recommend going to the Casper Sky password checker. A link to that will be in the description. Here you can enter a password, but not the one that you are going to use, something similar. Even though they are a cybersecurity company, you can't trust it. What is classed as a strong password these days is random words together. And here you can see how long it will take a computer to hack that password. So the high the number the better. Once your password is set you simply plug in your other nodes in different areas. Where possible try and create a triangle as they have pictured on the back of the box. If you go back to the app you should see them all and ensure that the signal strength is excellent. Reposition until you achieve this. And that's it. Very easy and we are ready for the test. So running almost the same test as before I have the before results on the left hand side. Test 1 and 2 we are skipping because we got almost the max speeds for both laptop and phone. And I installed a primary node on the opposite side of my router. So I'm sure those test results would be great. Test 3 in the kitchen and the second node was installed on the shoe rack just behind the laptop. So around a meter and a half away. We are getting a reading of 308 down and 36 up which is a 15% increase in the download, which I am happy with. On the mobile, we are getting 364 down and 29 up, which on the download alone is a 256% increase compared to before. With my iPhone getting those speeds, I know my laptop figure could be better. It must have been an off moment during filming. Test 4 was a bathroom test and here we are between the downstairs living room node and the second floor office node. On the laptop we are getting 306 down and 34 up which is a 53% increase on the download speed. So that's a great improvement. On the mobile phone I am getting a download of 367 and 35 up which is a huge 500% increase on the download and it's maxed here. That is excellent considering there is a node above us and below us, so it's penetrating through the floor. Again, with those iPhone speeds, I would imagine the Wi-Fi on the laptop being better if I had a Wi-Fi 6 card. So we're back in the office on the second floor. I have decided to put the node up here because this is where I do a lot of my YouTube editing and downloading and uploading. So it's currently sat to the right of my desk here. So the speed over Wi-Fi is 318 down and 26 up. However, before it had reached 36 on the upload, so I believe the connection is off. Either way, the download speed itself has increased by almost 110%. So I'm really happy here. With the free network ports in the node it allows me to plug in and reach almost full download speeds on both my laptop and PC. On the phone I'm reaching max speed so that's a whopping 790% increase on the download speed. Test 6 was in the back garden. I'm sat on the patio steps. The node is just behind this wall. That is 3 meters away. Here on the laptop we are getting 295 down which is a massive increase from 25 which is over 10 times faster. I am going to extend the outdoor test. I'm move over to the corner of my garden near my shed. I am just over 11 meters away here. Laptop is 183 down and 15 up. 
Wow, I'm very impressed. I'm limited to how far I can go in my back garden, so I'm going to head on to the front. So I am over 30 metres away here. And previously, I wouldn't have been able to get anything at 7 metres, let alone 30 metres. Now it's 6am here, and I don't want to bring my laptop out here on the public path. So let's see what I can get on the phone. On my iPhone, I am getting two bars of signal. Wow, 155 down, and that's from over 30 meters away. That's crazy. Just to show you from the inside, I was on that path near that tree, and my router is here by my TV. My mind is absolutely blown. Now that we've proven its ability, what does it cost? Well, for this mess system, you are paying 220 pounds, or 290 US dollars. I got mine on a Prime Day deal, but it retails at over 400 pounds, which leads me to the verdict. Should you avoid it, shortlist, or should you buy it? Buy it, of course. In my opinion, it's worth the money 100%, especially at this lower price, which at the time of this video, it's still on a deal with 43% off. There is a link to this product in the description, and if you use that link, it will help support this channel. This video is not sponsored. I paid for this myself, and there is over 1,000 positive reviews for this product on Amazon. If you're in a home with thick walls, multiple floors or large garden space, then this mesh system is for you. As you saw, getting a Wi-Fi connection at over 30 meters away is crazy. And then getting over 150 megabytes at that distance is mind blowing. For me personally, it will save me a lot of time uploading and downloading videos. Prior to this, I was constantly going up and down the stairs just to download 4K footage near my router. But with the massive improvements, I do not need to leave my office. And the other benefit is the free network ports allows me to connect to both my laptop and PC giving me the best possible connection which is very important during gaming sessions and video editing. Lastly it will allow me to work from home in the garden in the summer which is an added bonus and it will allow my kids to use their devices without suffering dropouts. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like and if you are interested in all things tech then please consider subscribing. Thank you.